Hey everybody, it's Joyce here, Shadow by Tara with a little Anya bringing you a Josephine Langford psychic love reading by request. So we're gonna find out. Actually, I'm gonna take a peek in career two for Josephine Langford. All right, guys, you know the spiel. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please do so. Subscribe and join my Bayou Tribe. Make that tribe grow, guys. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share my videos, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Let's roll it out for Josephine Langford in Love and Money. Woo. All right, Josephine Langford. What are the messages for Josephine Langford? And love and career. Love and money. Love and career. For Josephine Langford, what are the messages? We have the Two of Pentacles here, guys. Ooh, let's find out. Offers are on the table. Feeling a little rocky, though. Prince of Cups is next. Ooh, ooh, hold on. We have the Hangman. The King of Cups. Damn, the death card in Scorpio. Whoo, we got some stuff going on, girl. And the five of pentacles. Oh, wow. Whoa. I just have to see. Mm, mm, mm. All right, current energy for Josephine Langford is the six of swords. Ooh, leaving a difficult situation behind and forging ahead. Communications could be moving, huh, moving a long distance, or I do feel like it's this is definitely personal. Definitely personal. Love life here. Somebody's attracted to her. She's attracted to them. And the Prince of Wands, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles. She definitely wants to be with someone that she desires. Could be a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an earth sign person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Scorpio really heavy in the death card here. But it could be any sign and any, definitely any water sign with Pisces and Cancer as well. Whew. Okay, this is what I get, okay? I feel like she's at a distance from the person she wants to be with that she will go to them. They will be happy for a time. This is something she has waited for or her person has waited on, okay? There will be or is now. It's either right now or coming in a decision to make between two people, all right? One was one will be cut away. One, how do I put this? She's gonna make a choice between two people in love, okay? And the thing is, she's offered her heart to one, but she's biding her time with the other one. One person she feels more for than the other, and that's who she's going to choose to be with. And, of course, that's going to make everything change. There will be, though, there will be, I keep seeing courage is needed to have this relationship develop with this person. There will be like a stall, all right? Like some kind of, something's detained after the decision is made. However, it will move forward and definitely somebody's going to get left out in the cold in that 
and she will have her wish fulfillment to be with someone in particular that she has wanted to be with for a while, okay? And it will grow, okay? In the Queen of Pentacles, it will grow and be abundant. There could definitely be, there could be a commitment in the near future with her and her person. Yeah. A choice between two. One is chosen, and here we have the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the Sun. Cutting out a third party in the Four of Swords. Moving towards your destiny, I feel. Yeah, she's definitely... Her career is steady. I don't see anything really crazy going on there. She might have a choice. Like, she may have a couple of offers come in, but I feel like she's feeling good where she's at and she's like steady um focused on one thing right now more than anything she has her focus centered on a certain project that she's in however with her love it's choice out of two she will make that choice and move forward and of course there will be a little bit in repercussions because she doesn't want to hurt anyone but they will be hurt they will feel hurt, but she's doing this for her greater good and for her happiness. Overall, she will get who she wants in the end, who she's been wanting, someone she does feel a connection with. Could easily be a Leo person, a Scorpio person, a Taurus, and a Capricorn is the most dominant. Could be any sign, but those are sticking out to me like a sore thumb. I do feel she will be in a committed relationship in the very near future. But she will make a choice out of two people, you guys. And she will move forward in the physical and go after what she wants. And she will be successful in that. Third party situation will be cut out. And like I said, there will be some kind of, once that breakup happens, there will be like a pause and then she's gonna move forward with this other person, okay? So do know that. Yeah. I feel the person that she is going to commit to could be her age or just a little bit older. I don't feel like they're old, old, Slight difference, not much. So they're both relatively young. I mean, well, young to me. But yeah, love is like a little bit of a rocky, so like a rocky edge right now. Like very, it's a, it's emotional, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then when you feel like you can't give your love to who you really want to be with. Feeling stuck. But she's not going to stay that way. She will break up with someone to be with someone else. And move forward. She'll be happy. It will hurt that person. It will. It, it'll just be devastating to them. But she feels like that's the best thing to do. Okay. Alright guys. This is all I'm getting for Josephine Langford. Please let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me get rid of that. Okay. So just email me at shadowbyutarot.gmail.com if you want to get in touch with me for a private personal tarot tea love reading for yourself. And please check out my website, shadowbyu.com. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you.